This is an introduction to the getRegister function. In the previous video, we used the setRegister function to change a value at a given register. The getRegister function is the complete opposite, so instead of setting a value, it's just going to return a value at a given register. In the previous video, we, we were able to change the ID from 10 to 2, so right now, this has an ID of 2. So we're going to use, in this video, we're going to use the setRegister function to change the ID back to 10. And we're going to use the getRegister function to dis and use that information to display the new ID on the serial monitor. So let's get started. I've already imported my library and started my setup and loop function. We'll start by initializing the serial monitor. We could do this by typing in serial begin with a baud rate of 9600. Next we'll delay for 5 seconds. This is going to give us enough time to open the serial monitor. Then to test the serial monitor, we'll just print out Hello world. Then we'll delay for a little bit. Let's change our ID back to 10. So, so remember the syntax was AX12. Oops. AX12 set register our ID of 2 register 3 for the ID, and then we're going to change it back to 10. So remember the, or what I said earlier was that the getRegister function is going to return a value, and so we're going to need a variable to store that value. And the variable is going to be an int, so we'll make our variable int, we'll call it new ID, and just by convention we're going to set it to negative 1. Now we could use the getRegister function and the new ID variable is going to take on that value. The syntax is the same. It's going to be x12 getRegister and it's going to take three parameters as before. The first one's going to be the ID The second parameter is going to be the third register as before. And the last par parameter is going to be the number of bytes that you are going to be returning. In our case, the ID is just one byte. So we're going to return one byte. Now to confirm that it's changed, we're going to print it out. Okay, that should be everything. Let's check our code. It looks like we're good to go. So we're going to upload it. And right when it uploads, we're going to open the serial monitor.